time for a big game breakdown. As always, live odds, sports book review, and SBR odds. Make sure you're betting with a trustworthy shop out there. Game three tonight, LeBron's won nine straight. Cavs have won nine straight uh, in the playoffs, but in the last nine, LeBron's averaged 35 points per game in the stretch. And here it is, Cavs two and Look at this. Cavs are two and a half on the road, 214 and a half the total. Cavs favor for the game. Raptors favored first quarter and first half, Teddy. They're one and a half in Vegas, and they're one offshore in the first half. Have you ever seen that before? Never once. I've been in Vegas since 1998, and I cannot recall a previous instance where a team was, and we're not just talking about, you know, Cleveland's minus one. Cleveland's two and a half for the game. They might be three by tip-off. And yet, Toronto favored anywhere from a half to one and a half. All the books in Vegas have Raptors one and a half, and offshore it's either a half uh, or minus one for Toronto. I don't ever recall. I mean, maybe there's one that I don't remember, but I don't remember one, Polly. Do you? No, never. I've never. I, I talked to a lot of some other people who said they've never seen it before as well, and they've been around this racket for a long time. Game one was one sixteen to one hundred five. Game two was one twenty five to one hundred three. Domination by the Cavs even greater than the numbers. Look at points per hundred, offensive and defensive efficiency, and the net points. Cleveland on offense, 118.9. Defense, 101.4. Net plus 17.5. Toronto, 101.4 on offense, 118.9 on defense. But look at this with the big th- with uh, the big three. Kyrie, plus 42. Love, plus 34. And James, plus 21. It has been an unmitigated disaster for Lowry and DeRozan, especially DeRozan. Minus 39.5, or 39.2. Uh, only five points in game two. He hasn't done anything in this series, and Kesman able to get to the free throw line either. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, for Toronto to compete in this series, they need their guards to play at an elite level. When you think back to the, uh, say, the Blazers Warriors series, you know, in that game one, when Portland hung around for a long, long time, what was it? The guards playing really well. Game three, when they took that big lead and covered the spread at halftime, what was it? The guards playing really, really well. The Raptors have a pair of all-star caliber guards. Okay, They have not played well in this series, not even close. And to make matters worse for Toronto, I mean, the Cavs, their offense is clicking right now. LeBron's been brilliant, but Kyrie Irving, back-to-back 20 and 10 games, 24 and 10 in the opener, 22 and 11 uh, in game two. And that's only in 32 minutes a game. And I'll tell you what, the Cavs' spacing has been so good that it's difficult for any defense to counter. You know, they made their first eight three-pointers against Toronto in Game 2, even with the Raptors making adjustments to try to take those shots away. Casey made some adjustments. He put Powell and Patterson in the starting lineup, Valanchunas to the bench. Valanchunas knocked down a lot of shots, but uh, didn't do much. Here's Casey, quote, The thing about it is we're in the same place we were last year. Until a team wins on another team's court, it's a series. We go back to Toronto. They play well. We shake their hand. They shot great. LeBron, this was big. Uh, Le- LeBron shot 21 free throws. We shot 19 as a team. Make sure you get that out there. Uh, we played well, but we haven't scratched the surface of where we can go, end quote. DeRozan, 2 of 11. Didn't make a shot in the first half. It sucks to lose like we did. To play like I did, it sucks. It's frustrating. I've added time having to wait until Friday night to redeem myself, end quote. Now you got to worry about Lowry's ankle as he left in the third quarter, didn't play in the fourth, Teddy, a game two. Yeah, and, uh, and the question is, I mean, Lowry was clearly not 100%. He was clearly limping up and down the floor. And the game conditions, you know, where Cleveland was just blowing him out, uh, obviously, you take him out, he's not coming back in that ballgame. The question is, how serious is this injury? Is it going to impact him at all? Is it the kind of thing uh, that... Uh, could have a significant impact. Because, you know, again, the Raptors aren't going anywhere in this game, in this series, in first half, or anything, unless Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan bring it. You know, uh, those two haven't been able to bring it so far. This, in theory, is the game that they're supposed to do that. And obviously, uh, when it comes to the first quarter, first half, we know where the money's going to come already. Uh, you know, by, <laughs> if, you like, if you like the Raptors and want to make those bets, that's what we want. you got to run to the betting window, not walk. There will be others in line to make that same wager. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.